so let's get started with the body tag all right so starting off in the body tag first of all we have a link to the github account this is the cat icon which you see on the top right corner so next we have the main div in which we have all the information finally we have a footer div which contains the handcrafted by Krish Patel and then the heart icon which when hovered upon turns red and some credits so here our body tag is over and now let's move to styling first of all we have a custom font which is Sinzer. Then we start off the real styling by removing the default margin and padding. Then we center everything. After then we get rid of the normal default selection color which is blue. We turn that into transparent. Then we turn the body black and apply basic height and width properties. The font family of Sensual Gothic, Apple Gothic, Sensual Gothic or Sans Self. Display we turn it as flex. Now let's start defining all the animations. First animation is the walking animation for all the zombies in which we define the rotation of the walk. And then we define the translate. That translate decides the speed of walking for each zombie. Second animation coming up is the reload animation in which we define the rotation of it. The basic triggering rotation. Flashing animation. Next, we add the text glitch animation which comes up when the game is over, when you win, when you lose or when a new wave is started. After that's done, we now set up the canvas and cursor. The canvas is basically the playing area. We set its position, height, width and a cursor when we take into that it will change into crosshair and we define a separate background colors for individual level after that's done we add a worn out frame look the cat on the top right seems to be bold so let's style that once the cat is done with we now deal with the footer and the heart animation so footer we set it up and the heart animation is that the heart turns red when the mouse is hovered over it after the footer is dealt with now we are focusing on the loading animation so when the game loads the animation displayed during that time and the info board about the health, hearts and the kill feed, kill counter. Once that's done now we start to style the buttons on it. So first we start the pause button, then we start the turn off music and sound button, then we uh, style the ammo or the reload button or animation and then the level animation the zombies are looking dull right so let's deal with them so first we start off by defining individual zombies we style their height with background position their walking speeds we configure the walking animation and then we make the its death animation the zombies have began to terrorize gamers so let's limit their power by adding the health power of each zombie and then amount of bullets it takes to kill it. After then we limit the zombies further by limiting their walking speeds. Our styling is thus done and now let's add some javascript. We start off by adding some basic javascript and then we link two javascript files to it which are very important. Then let's create an area for the script which we will type the code in and let's start the code here we will start by first defining variables and constant values to everything the game looks a bit too boring so let's add some sounds to enhance it then we add some general javascript after that we make a formula for generating a random number now let's decide the frequency of zombies that will spawn per level and the quantity of zombies that will spawn in a frequency then we will load all the sounds once that's complete now we will start creating zombies we now create a function that understands when a zombie is killed so what it does is when we click on a zombie it gets damaged and it triggers the health bar animation once he has taken 100% damage the health bar animation is toggled off and the zombie is considered dead and then the javascript will add a plus one value to the total kills 
after that stuff is done now we will add a function that will start a level and then when the game is over and you are lost we trigger the end game function then we will add a function which will calculate the level so if for example level 1 so after the player has killed a certain amount of zombies the calculate wave will trigger the start wave 2 function after x number of zombies are killed in start wave 2 then it will trigger the start wave 3 function and then so on so now the zombies are a bit too angry on the gamers and they have sued the gamers in court so the court has decided that they will write a function which will drag the zombies to know if they pass from the left side and if they pass from the left side without getting killed then life will be deducted from the player and the player will be punched in face by a punch sound effect that will be played and if three zombies pass all the lives of the gamers will be over and the game over function will be triggered after meeting the needs of the zombies now we will add a reload animation so the javascript function will detect that, that you have fired all the six bullets and then there will be no more bullets left so you will pr be prompted to reload after that's done the mute music and the mute sound button seem to do nothing so let's style them so when you click on the mute music it will mute all the musics and if you click on the mute sound then it will mute all the sounds after seeing that the mute buttons have a specific function now even the pause button is protesting that even he needs a function so let's do that here's a function that gets triggered when the pause button is pressed it mutes the sound stops the zombies and revolver and also the reset game function is programmed then we add a javascript function which will start the game after that we function the preload and then finally we reload all the graphics involved in the game before starting the game